All right, guys, for another Just the Tip Tuesday, little tip, Tuesday tip, tips and tricks. I'm gonna show you how to do some bump rolling. I got this piece over here and I wanna make a heat shield. So I'm gonna take a piece of flat and I'm gonna roll it. But I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than your traditional um, like rolling, just like this. The only reason I don't love this is because it does have like a start and stop to it. And to be honest, it doesn't really work that well, at least for me. Um, so we're gonna do what's called a bump roll. Basically, we're just gonna do a series of breaks, very small increments and very lightly to give it that, that roll, that radius. And then we'll have a nice little round piece that's gonna follow this diameter. So taking our flat piece here, we're gonna make a bunch of marks every, let's say, half inch. And then we're gonna come over here to our break. And then all we're gonna do is give it a very small bump. Exactly. So it's like I, I told you about this tool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how it has that uh, that roll on top. It's just a different way of doing it. For me, it's easier to to like track it rather than. So look, now we see we're starting to already get our our radius, which we're actually pretty close. They're actually too much, but we can we can dial it back. I mean, it's like you don't need much at all. Yeah, I like this better because you can control it. This stuff's like, I haven't figured it out. So maybe on a bigger machine. So, all right, there you go. Bump roll. Took our flat and now we made a, and it's called bump roll because you're rolling it with a little slight bump of the brake. But this being so thin, it's not that big of a deal. We can just kind of open it up by hand. This is only 18 gauge and voila. We'll weld this on the side and we have ourselves a little heat shield and that's it